Hello LEGO fans and Merry Christmas. I hope everybody's having a nice holiday. I don't know about you all, but I got up this morning and started playing with LEGOs just like I did when I was a kid. And it was wonderful. I wanna show you what I've done here today. I've rebuilt my lifter. Instead of using two blade spinners, I found these triple blade spinners online. And as soon as I saw them, I couldn't resist. They remind me too much of, of aircraft propellers. And in honor of my dad who flew airplanes for 35 years, I just had to try and build my lifter with, with the three bladed. I keep thinking of them as props, but they're really just spinning bars. So let's fire it up and see how it works. And there we go. This version of the, of the lifter is actually taller. I added a whole extra loop. You can see the old set setup in the background. But this one, I added channels with, with a different turning mechanism. And I basically set it up with what I call the Alpine Road, where to, to reduce the height, I just zigzag back and forth. And then return to the input hopper. In order to get this to work, the, the infeed has to be very precise. And there you can see it. It basically has a rotating wheel. It's similar to the revolving door spacer that I had before, but it's oriented vertically, so it's hopefully less prone to jamming. The balls come in, and every time it comes around, it picks one up, lifts it over, and then drops it in. And there's the rest of the gearing mechanism. You can see this on the back side. And then of course with the extra height, I needed a much taller tower structure to catch the, the immediate outfeed from the lifter. And then as before, I have the splitter with just a slide switch so I can move that off to the side and then dump the balls out of the system. So I hope you all enjoyed that, and I hope that everybody has a wonderful Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.